Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video, we'll be discussing about Bug Bounty Recon. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. Guys, first of all, really, really thank you for all your support. If you want to connect to me personally, you can check out my Twitter and the LinkedIn. The links are in the description below. And if you want to join my community and share your doubts, you can check out my Discord server. The link is in the description below. So guys, in the previous uh, three uh, parts, I covered some regarding some bug bounty recon. Okay, so I covered like three parts and this video is going to be the end. As I told you in those previous segments, like the tools that I showcased are only few, but the, you need to follow the methodology. Okay, like uh, what are the tools, what type of tools you need to use, stuff like that. Okay, but in this video, we'll be discussing about uh, the next part, what you can do. Okay, so, so obviously once you get your URL or the domain that you want to test on, or subdomain or the URL, everything, okay. Once you get your target, you can do a lot of stuff on that. Like uh, it is dependent. Okay, so in the in in the upcoming videos, like this video is end for the bug bounty recon process, but uh, uh, the upcoming and this is like start for the other bug bounty or uh, uh, bug bounty uh, vulnerabilities playlists. Okay, like I'll try to cover some uh, com remote command execution, or I'll take a vulnerability and I'll try to make videos on them, uh, which will be easy for the viewer as well. Okay, so once you get the target, you can do a quite lot of stuff. Like you can search for some various vulnerabilities on OVAS top 10. Okay, you can search on OVAS top 10. Okay, so I'll cover those videos as well. No need to worry. Okay, and uh, you can uh, try to find out some stuff. Okay, on internet or you can do some uh, uh, like uh, SQL injection or anything like that. Okay, so these all comes under this OVAS top 10 vulnerabilities. So, and as I told you, this can be mentioned under the bug bounty recon process because, uh, because like if you take, uh, like if I try to uh, make a video right now on like on a SQL injection on bug bounty recon process, then what can possibly happen is let's think there you, you got a target, which doesn't even have, uh, like, uh, nothing there. Like it's just like a sample page. Okay, you can do like there is no possibility of doing SQL injection. So it will be a different case there. Okay, so the best thing now you can do once you get a target is you can look for something like uh, uh, like finding the files and stuff. I already made a video on that. You can do check that out. Okay, you can look for the sensitive if they are sensitive. Okay, or you can look uh, look into them for some important like some interesting stuff. Okay, and uh, so once you uh, do those stuff, so now what you will be needing, okay, so there is a simple concept called as fuzzing. So fuzzing is like you will be testing the software, okay, by uh, like it is something like stress test kind of thing. So what you basically do is let's think you got a URL, https colon slash slash maps dot google dot com slash uh, home let's think there is uh, a url like this okay so fuzzing is something like you can try to fuzz some values into this particular field like you can search for uh, like if you have a word list you can try to brute force these kind of things so this is you can call it as fuzzing okay like uh, you can do on this thing okay or you can do on this directory okay you can do on this domain it is like the chances are endless like this is a simple concept okay like uh, if you want me to cover a, a topic or a video on fuzzing i'll try to cover them and there are some important tools for that okay so the first uh, important tool uh, that i can recommend you is perpsu okay uh, so it is like a gui based so it's a graphical user interface based and there is something called as ffuf so this is a command line based okay command line based so like everything has their own use cases so let's think let us assume that you are a beginner and if you want to get familiar with this fuzzing concept you can make use of this burp suit okay so i already made a video on burp suit so if you can go to the intruder session section in the burp suit you can try to do the fuzzing there as well okay so i leave the uh, mastering burp suit playlist that i uh, recently made in the description below or in the cards you can do check them out and uh, it is a simple tool you can make use of that and then uh, uh, and there is one more tool as i told you ffuf so it is a command line based so this will be like a bit advanced like uh, the use case of this is like you can automate 
okay so you can simply write a bash script and you can try to automate as it is a command line tool you can simply write a command uh, to get executed okay and you can get your report there okay so it is your choice it's your complete choice on what tool to use okay so i use personally these both tools like i have my automation script uh, which consists of this ffuf and i also look for the burp suit like i use both of them so you can check them out and if you want me if you want me to cover a video on ffuf do let me know i'll try to make a video on that because like it is a big tool okay it takes like 10 to 20 minutes of time if if i want to explain it and in the first thing like as i told you the one the example that i had shown like you can fuzz on these parameters and stuff like uh, it is a small use case only okay there are a lot of use cases of fuzzing so there is something called like in the black box testing you mo mostly go with this fuzzing concept only okay so in order to do fuzzing or in order to find out these files and directories you need to always have a proper word list okay everyone has their own word list or if you are a beginner so i have my own word list which i custom made and uh, there are some other tools like uh, there are some uh, open source uh, word lists as well the one of them uh, which is popular is seclists okay so seclists is like a uh, is like a big uh, what you call a repo which consists of all these things like if you want to go for the fuzzing you can go to the fuzzing like you can check for the xss okay you can check for everything okay so that is it you can make use of them and there are some thousands of uh, available word lists you can do make use of them but if you are a beginner if you want to get started so seclists will be fine and installation is really really simple okay you can simply do apt uh, install checklist and it will it will install on your system so if you want sudo okay so that is it uh, so that is the thing the regarding fuzzing and the word list and there are some different tools as well like uh, if you want to uh, find out this sql injection there are some tools like sql map okay like for every vulnerability which is which are listed on this obash top 10 there will be there are some tools which are related to that which are exclusive tools that are related to that so let me give you some examples like sql map for sql injection okay and there is something like a wp scan as we all know it is for wordpress okay like that there are some different tools that are available so there is something called as comex uh, which is for command line executions and stuff then like there are thousands of tools so as i told you like uh, this is the process like uh, the previous thing that i had shown you is like some bug bounty recon process like it is a basic thing only i'm not saying it is like an advanced uh, topic kind of thing like there are some many tools that are available out there like there are some gf uh, scripts available there are some different scripts that are available so you can try to make use of them as well but for a beginner these things will work fine okay now coming to this part as i told you once you choose the target there are, there are some different things that you can do like you can test for any one of the sovas top 10 or you can search for some files and directories you can fuzz them you can do anything that you want okay so that is it guys for this video i hope you find this video helpful uh, this video is really short because like this is an end part for the bug bounty recon and from the next videos onwards i'll try to cover this ffuf for some fuzzing concepts that you can uh, do with the help of verb suit or the ffuf so you can do check them out on my channel in this uh, okay uh, and that's it guys if you want to see more content like this you can do subscribe to my channel and uh, you'll be notified okay so whenever i uh, upload a new video and daily thank you for watching this video if you really find this video helpful make sure to like it and do uh, subscribe so that it can reach more content this is atvik signing off and i'll meet you in the next video thank you